Welcome to this short introduction to Cerebral. In this video, I will point out what Cerebral is all about. Hope you enjoy it. Cerebral is about state and side effects. It creates an abstraction around state changes and running side effects, which allows you to express it declaratively. This also allows Cerebral to hook into everything that is happening inside your application, giving you a lot of insight to what is happening. To define UI, you can use most popular view layers and frameworks. A good example of showing the benefits of Cerebral is a simple login button. We are using React, but the same goes for any other view. With Cerebral, you define your state and side effects outside your UI structure. That means any component can access any state and trigger any side effect by connecting to them. In this example, we depend on the user itself, the state that indicates that we are indeed loading the user, any error, and the signal that tells Cerebral that the login logic should run. The login button will by default return a button that triggers the login flow when clicked. During login, the button will be disabled. If we have a user, we show the name, or if there is an error, we show the error message. This gives us some benefits. One, the component is pure, meaning its only purpose is to take state as input and output a UI description. Two, the state used here can be used by any other component anywhere in the UI structure. Even the signal can be triggered by any other component for whatever reason. Three, the component will only render if any of these state dependencies actually change. We separate UI structure from state and side effect structure, meaning that any component can connect to whatever state they want and they can trigger whatever change they want in the application. Here we see one component, login, completely separated from the list component. It triggers logic to fetch the user and also uses information from the user when it is loaded. The list component also uses information from the user when it is loaded, even though it is located in a completely different part of the UI. This is exactly how you get the freedom to scope components to only worry about UI, styling and interaction while Cerebral will take care of all the state and side effects management. Defining signals in Cerebral is declarative. Basically, that means we do not write how to do state changes and run side effects, we just describe what state changes and side effects we want to run. We use arrays to define sequences of functions to run. These functions we just call actions. Also, objects can be used to define paths of execution, as we see with getUser. Each of these actions has access to changing the state and run side effects. But when composing together logic in signals, we do not really think about those details. We think about the overall intention of the code. But creating a function for every little state change and side effect would be tedious, as with functional programming in general. That is why function factories, a concept from functional programming, is very common in Cerebral. A function factory is just a function that typically takes some options and returns a new function honoring those options. In Cerebral, this is such a common thing that we call them operators. Cerebral comes with core operators for changing state and other related packages has their own set of operators. You will actually find yourself writing most of your logic with operators, but at any time you can go an abstraction deeper and write custom actions. Composing together and reuse business logic is a breeze with Cerebral, because it's declarative. A sequence of actions will execute one after the other and hold execution whenever something executes asynchronously. You can also run actions in parallel. In this illustration, the second and third action will run immediately, even though one or both of them are asynchronous. When both finish their execution, the last action will run. You can also diverge execution by allowing an action to choose a path of execution. 
The first action in this illustration decides if the foo or bar path should be taken, depending on some internal logic. It's also possible to compose a whole sequence of actions into another sequence of actions. That means you can reuse large pieces of logic with other pieces of logic in your application. Even though this functional composition gives us an abstraction that binds all our code together as blocks of Lego, the greatest benefit is that Cerebral understands this composition. It even understands when state changes are made and side effects are run. That allows Cerebral to visualize to you how your application runs and what data is passed through it. The Cerebral Debugger is an Electron app that gives you a lot of insight, and it will be a helpful companion creating your next app. So there you have it, Cerebral, a declarative state and side effects management solution for popular JavaScript frameworks. Jump over to the introduction and join us on Discord if you have any questions.